Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about daytime value function of a Salesforce. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic experience. So let's first see the syntax of the date value function in Salesforce. So the syntax is visible on your screen. You have to simply use the date value function and pass the value to it. It gives you date and value of the field that you have passed. So now let's proceed and learn to use this daytime value function in Salesforce Lightning experience first. So here I open my Salesforce account and I am in a Lightning experience. If you are not in a Lightning one, first shift to the Lightning. After that, you can see that we see a object manager option on a navigation bar next to the home. Click on it. Now you have multiple objects that are available in Salesforce. Now it's time to select one object in which you want to use this function. So I'm taking the contact object for an example. So I search for the contact in a quick find box and click on this contact. Now on a left side, you can see that we have option of a field and relationships. Click on this one. It shows you all the fields and the relationships that are available in Salesforce. So it's time to create a new field as we are going to use the daytime value function in Salesforce. So I click on this new button that is located on the right side. After that, you can see that it asks you to choose a field type that you want to use for creating the custom field. So as I am going to use the daytime value function, I need a formula date field type or a data type. So I click the radio button next to the formula and click the next to move ahead. Now in the second step, it asks you to enter the field label name. So here I enter the field label name as a create contact time and date. So as I click on the field name, it automatically populated. Now when you scroll down, you can see that it shows you the formula return type. You have to choose the formula return type in this section. As we are using the date time value function and you know that it returns the date and the time of the value that you passed. For this reason, I select the date time return type and click the next button to proceed. Now it's time to enter the formula by using the function of a date time value. So here you can see that on the left side, we have a function section here from all categories. I select the date and time category and from here I select the date time value function. Click on the insert selected function and in the expression, I have to pass the date. So I click on this inserted field and from here I scroll down and select this created date. You can see that this is a date and time type. So it fetch out the date and time from it. I click on insert and when I click on this check syntax, it shows that there is no formula error. You can also add description and help text. And even you can handle the blank fields as a zero or treat it as them blank. Or after that, you have to click on the next. As you click the next button, it asks you to set up the field level security. In this step, you have to grant the edit access to this field to the profiles, various that are available in Salesforce. So I want to grant the edit permission to all the profiles. So I click the checkbox next to visible. It automatically select up all the checkboxes. Then I click the next and it proceed to the last step, the step five, where you have to choose the add to page layout. Now it shows you multiple page layout of the contact tab that are available. And here in front of it, it shows you the checkbox with the add field. So here you have to select the page layouts in which you want to add this field. If you not select any, it doesn't show this field in that page layout. So I remain the setting as it is and click on the save button. So when I click on a save, it successfully create a formula field with the date time value function. So now let's check whether it's work or not. I click on an app launcher from here. I search for the contact items. So here is the contacts. Now I randomly choose any one contact from the list of contacts. So when I click on this detail section, you can see that when I scroll down here, the create contact and time date is shown. 
This is fetched from the created by 5-12-2003-1946 a.m. And you can see that it shows that 5-12-2003-1946 a.m. So with this, we have learned to use the daytime value function in Salesforce Lightning experience. Now it's time to move ahead and learn to use this daytime value function in a classic experience also. For this, you have to click on this profile and here you will get an option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic. When I click on it, so it's moved to the page. Now it's time you have to select the setup. So here I click on the setup option and from here you will get the classic setup page. When you scroll down, you will get the build section on the left side. Under this, you have a customized drop down. Now from this drop down, you have to choose the object in which you want to use the daytime value function. So this time I choose for the products object. So as I am going to create a new field for using the daytime value function, I click on this field. After that, you have to scroll down and click on this new button that is located in a product custom fields and relationship. So now it shows us the various field types that are available in Salesforce. So I click on the formula one as I am going to use the daytime value function and for this I use the formula field type. After that you have to click on the next button. Now here you have to enter the field label. So I enter the field label as a purchase date and time. So when you click on a field name it automatically populated. Now you have to select the formula return type. I choose the date and time as the function return the result in date and time will you both. Then I click on the next button. Now it's asked me to enter the formula or a function. I move to the function sections, click on the date time category, choose the function date time value. So now it's time to pass the field to this date time value function. So I click this insert field button and choose the field with date and time field type. So here I choose the purchase date and uh, this one is only of the date type. I click on insert and when I click on this check syntax, it checks whether this formula is correct or have some error. So it shows that there is no syntax error in this. If you want to add description help text, you can add. If you want to treat the blank fields as a zero, you can treat it as well. And uh, after that, you have to click on the next button to proceed. So in this step, now you have to choose the profiles to which you want to grant the edit access of this field. So I click on this visible checkbox and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. So now in this step, you have to choose the page layout in which you want to add the speed. So here we only have the one page layout with the name product layout. So it is already selected. After that, you have to click on the save button. So with this, we have successfully created a, a formula field with the function datetime value. So now let's check whether it's working or not. So I click on this plus icon. After that, I search for the object with the name product. So here is the products object. So here I click on one product and uh, I click on this edit option to add a purchase date. So let's add a date. So here I enter the date and click on the save. So when I click on the save, you can see that it shows the purchase date in time. It shows that it is of a fourth date of a third month, which is March 2023 and the time is 5 p.m. So you can see that when we enter the date in the purchase, this is only of a date type. So it automatically automatically fetch out the time according to the enter date of the purchase. So with this we have learned to use the daytime value function in Salesforce Classic as well. So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a good